setting is going to equal that text box. Now if you're trying to have this, if you're trying to save a label, then you just put the label name here. Or button text, button one dot text, whatever it may be, you just put that in that place. So now go back and go to um, the, stop it, <laughs> go back to the load and under load you're going to put the total opposite of what you put under save. This time you're going to do it backwards and you're going to do textbox1.text or button1 or whatever it may be dot text equals my.settings and whatever you name that setting. Minus text, so whatever you name that setting, bttn text, lbl text, whatever it may be, put that in there. Okay? So now um, when you load the program, you're going to have to click load every time to get it to work. So what we can do is wherever you name that button, you're going to go ahead and put that button number and dot perform click. Or if you don't have that button and you just are wanting to load it, you just put that text that we put under load, under the load button and put that there. Now to show that this works on any text, I went ahead and did me.text equals that setting. So me.text equals my.settings.text. Okay, so, sorry about that guys, so it would change the text of the form to that. So, now, there's one problem, when you close the form, it's not going to save the text unless you click save each time. So you're going to go under here, under this load, and go under load, and you're going to go to form closing. After that, it's going to create a new class, and it's going to be this right here. Now, again, if you don't have the button, then you just type in whatever we typed in under the save text in here. But for this tutorial, I just put in that button number and dot perform click. So it saves whatever is in that text box to that setting. So now let's go and let's run the program. You can see I've already worked with this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a clean start. Okay, so as soon as you load it, it's going to be blank. As you can see, the text up here is going to be blank. So. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just type, I'm going to type in hello, and you're going to click, um, you can click save, and if I clear this out, I'm going to click load, okay, as you can see that works, now I'm just going to add um, y-o-u-t-u-b-e, um, YouTube, so let's go ahead and let's close this, and as you can see I didn't click the save button, I just typed it in there and closed it. 
And when I load, it's going to say that same exact text in up there. Oops. And so it's going to be up there also. So this was just a quick tutorial on saving text. Um, you can uh, throw a button in here, a label. You can have it, you know, change that text all as much. You know, anything that has a text uh, property to it, this will pretty much work with it. Um, there's really nothing that won't. So it's just a quick tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.